Welcome to Precision Way and Balances. We're an authorized MyWay dealer. Today we're going to be showing you the MyWay Palm Scale 8.0. This is the 300 gram version. It weighs up to 300 grams to a hundredth of a gram. So we're showing you this scale. It has this expansion tray which is really nice for weighing uh, large pieces. So basically the scale comes with standard. Let's see, we're going to tear this out. We have a tear button here on the left hand side. You can tear out the balance. You can either weigh pieces on the platform like so, if you have small amounts of material to weigh. Or if you have, you can put on this expansion tray right here. And again, we're just going to press the tear button. The tear button is on the inner circle right here inside. And we'll just say if we had larger pieces that might not fit on the platform we'll just throw this on like so we can get the weight so this expansion tray helps out a lot and it's also handy because you can just lift off the tray and then dump the gold out and then put it right on again and then we have a larger tray that comes standard with the scale and you'll see there's little cutouts here so it, it fits right on the platform and again, what you need to do is tear it out. We'll press the tear button. And so if you had larger pieces, we'll say if you had a larger gold uh, necklace, uh, you could never weigh on this scale without this expansion tray. It would never fit on the platform. So there's uh, a nice feature with the MyWay Palm 8.0. Also, say for example, you had silverware. Uh, the silverware, if I wanted to weigh this silverware, We'll say, you know, it's going to hit maybe the platform or maybe hit on the side. I mean, how can I really weigh with it? It's crazy. So my way came out with this expansion tray. And again, I put on the expansion tray. Each time you get to zero it out, tear it out, throw it on, and look, not a problem whatsoever. So when you buy the my way Palm Scale 8, the scale comes with two expansion trays which are really nice and I bring this up because I want to mention my way also has the palm scale 7.0 the 7.0 costs less money but it does not come with any expansion trays whatsoever and the plat the cover the cover itself on a 7.0 just pulls right off it's it's held on by two magnets and then you can use the cover as a tray so this is the PS7, we just want to show it to you, very, very similar to the 8, but the 8 offers more features. So let's go over some of these features real quickly. Um, the unique feature about the MyWay PS8 is the famous hydro hinge. So the cover, we have a little button here on the side. If we push the button back, you can see the cover swings open. This is MyWay's patented hydro hinge. So again, it's a real nice feature. It protects the weigh-in platform, the display, so you don't damage it. All your instructions are on the lid of the cover. So it gives you an idea how to operate the scale. We'll cover some of those features in a minute. Uh, the scale offers on the bottom of the scale, uh, let's go over the batteries. On the PS7, they use the CR2032 button batteries. Here we use it two. These are AAA batteries. It comes with the scale standard. So, the scale also is rubberized. So it's black rubberized both on the bottom and the top. Really nice in regards to keeping the scale firm on a table or something like that. Also prevents the scale from shock somewhat. Uh, it's black in color. It, you know the problem with black is it shows blemishes. But what else? We can't say anything more. That's the way they designed it. On the side of the scale here, you can pull out, they have a pair of tweezers. So if you're weighing little gemstones, you could, uh, you know, pick them up with these tweezers. So tweezers fit right in the bottom of the scale. Um, it also has a scoop. The scoop is right above the tweezers. How do you get it out? There's a button right here on the bottom of the scale. You got to push this button up. And when you push it up, yeah, you'll see the scoop popped out. 
So here's your scoop, and you can supposedly weigh, I don't know, gemstones with it or whatever and scoop it on. So the scoop goes right in here. So, and then it locks in. The PS8 has the hydra hinge, has the scoop, has the tweezers. The PS7 doesn't have those features. So, let's go to the functionality of the scale real quickly. Show you how to calibrate the scale and some of the features. So again, if... Uh, Right here, the scale has it returned to zero. So to return it to zero, we have a tear button. The tear button is on the right-hand side. Press it, and it tears. I'll put on the weight tray. Again, I can tear it again. Scale tears. If I wanted to weigh something on it, here's some gold. We'll throw some gold on the scale. You'll notice, again, the scale goes to two decimal places. So we have 37.43 grams. Again, that's a hundredth, of a, a hundredth of a gram. So if I add more weight to it, you'll see it increments up. It goes 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, etc. Um, if you want to set a unit price for the scale, we'll show you how to do that. The outer ring controls all the pricing. So you have the weight here in the top. The left-hand side will be the price per unit. The right-hand side will be the total cost. You have an up arrow, increments it up by a penny. You have the down arrow, single down arrow, decreases the price by a penny. You have double arrow up, it increases the price a lot faster. I should press this down so you can see it. So we're going up and up and up. So we're at seven dollars and two cents per gram. The double arrow sends it down fast and we'll just say we want to set this to seven dollars per gram. seven dollars per gram so you'll notice here 37.4 grams seven dollars per gram this would be two hundred and sixty two dollars and one cent um, let's go over the weigh units the weigh units are up here you'll see it's in gram to change the unit on the inner circle on the up we have a mode button here press it once changes to grains press it again it changes to one quarter of an ounce press it again we're in ounces Press it again, we're in one-eighth of an ounce. Press it again, we're in carats. Press it again, we're in penny weight. Press it again, we're back to grams. So you have seven weigh modes with this scale. This scale is not legal for trade. So if you're buying and selling gold and silver, you need a legal for trade scale if you're in the business. If you're a flea marketer going to flea markets, you want a rough idea what an item weighs, what it's worth, you know, Many people buy this scale for the application, but weights and measures, if you're in business, you must have a legal for trade scale. None of the MyWay scales are legal for trade. None of the MyWay pocket scales are legal for trade. So, again, this is for more like the hobbyist. I mean, we have a lot of people that buy this scale. They're jewelers, but, you know, it's not recommended. Weights and measures will go into your store and they'll shut you down. You need a legal for trade scale. So, anyways... Um, you know, you can throw gold on, you get two expansion, cha uh, expansion trays that come with the scale standard. Let's go over calibration real quick. Um, the scale comes with a calibration weight. So you have a 200 gram calibration weight. So right now the scale is showing 15.56 grams. That's because we had a tray on it. Let's tear it out. We tear it out. We put on 200 grams. And 200 grams reads... 200.05 grams. So, oh my goodness, the scale's off. It's the end of the world, right? No, I know. A lot of people be calling screaming. Well, listen, everywhere in the world is a different magnetic north. You need to calibrate your scale. My way gives you the cal mass. So we'll show you how to calibrate the scale. Basically, you want to zero out the scale. So we'll just hit tear, zero it out. Throw the 200 gram weight on the platform. You're going to press and hold the mode button. Press and hold down the mode button. As you hold it down, you will see the scale flashes 200 a couple times, and then it's going to show, oh, it shows fail, so we did something wrong. So, let's try to calibrate the scale again. Shouldn't have done that. So, let's turn the scale back on. Let's make sure we have a 200 gram weight. Yep, I got a 200 gram weight on the scale. Let's put the 200 gram weight on. Oh, now it reads fine. Let's hit the mode button. Maybe it's because we got to let it warm up a minute. Let's see. No, it's stable. It's stable. So we'll press the mode key. 
Flash is 200. Now it says pass. Okay. So that's how you calibrate the scale. Pretty simple. Now the feature, let's go over real quickly, is you have this weigh guide on the side. So you see right here, this is 200, and the weigh guide is about halfway. If I apply more weight to the platform, I can go up to 300 grams. Right here, we have a, have a real nice 100 gram weight. I'll put it on. Brings me up. Okay, once you go over that, if you look right here, there'll be an overload capacity. And it says overload at the top. So... That's how, you that's how you know if you're applying too much force. You look at that weight guide on the side. So there it is. Um, the only other features I just want to cover with the scale, we talked about the weight modes. We talked about the tear on the right-hand side. Um, the scale also has an auto shutoff. I've set the scale up so that the scale wouldn't shut off during this demonstration. But on the right-hand side, if you press it, you'll see it says off three. That means the scale will shut off after two minutes and no use. If you press the mode button one time, we'll go to off one, off two, off three. So off three is two minutes, off one is 30 seconds, off two is um, one minute. So the factory default is one minute. To store it, you press the tear key, and the scale will now shut off. Let's just make sure that was there. So I yeah, it's off one, so that's how I have it set. So, if there's no activity on the scale to save batteries, so we'll throw this on, and we'll notice that if there's no activity on the scale within 30 seconds, it's going to shut off. And the reason for this is to save batteries. So, as long as the numbers don't change for 30 seconds, we'll just wait. We'll see the scale shut off. Um, this is the MyWay Palm PS8. 200 gram. There's also another version, the MyWay PS8 800 gram. So there you see the scale just shut off to, to save battery power. So again, we can just uh, turn it on. You notice all the displays illuminate. Uh, wear precision weighing balances. You can visit us at balances.com or scaleman.com. We're an authorized MyWay dealer. Just want to show you real briefly how the scale comes. The scale comes packaged in a nice box. My way does a great job packaging wise. You can see the scale, the hydro hinge, the expansion tray. You'd be getting one expansion tray, two expansion trays. You have the pouch here, the scale here. Packaged really nice. Uh, when you open up the scale out of the box, again, My Way does a great, great job. You can see everything's right here. So you have your calibration weight, your scale, underneath your scale. You have one expansion tray, you have your manual, you have your next expansion tray. So, my way gives everything. There's very few uh, scale companies out there that give all these accessories. They charge a fortune for the accessories. If you look here, on the back side of the scale, you have uh, a carrying pouch. It comes with a carrying pouch. So, in regards to the scale itself, Let's go over the prices, setting up the prices and all that. We talked about that, but let's just go over it real quick. Um, you know, the scale counts down. And, you know, if we put on an expansion tray, again, we'll just stick on an expansion tray. You tear it out. I don't know if we cover this or not, but we'll go over the price. If you want to do price computing, if I throw on a gold chain here, and I wanted to calculate the price, uh, the outer ring is all for setting up the price, which would change the display on the left-hand side. So the up arrow changes it by a penny each time. The double arrow makes it go a lot, lot faster. You can see it climb really fast. Okay. The down arrow changes it by a penny. I mean, this is all self-explanatory, but, you know, we'll help you out. The double arrow sends it down really fast. So we'll just say we want to, I don't know, we're going to sell this for... Uh, $10 a gram. Okay, so we're going to sell this stuff for $10 a gram. So basically I have my gold chain, weighs 37.4 grams, 
at $10 a gram, this is going to be $374.10. Man, that would be a great bargain if I'd actually sell it to you for that price, but I won't. So anyways, uh, you can change the price anytime you want. You can also store it. It has memory. It only has memory for one spot. So there's lower, on the inner circle, the lower part, you'll see an M here. This is memory. So if I press it, it will store the value. When I store the value, it's now stored at $10 per unit. If I shut off the scale, turn the scale back on, it will remember the price at $10 a gram. So this time, we'll say, I'll put on the expansion. I don't want to do that. You can't see the display. We'll just say, oh, I'm going to sell this calibration weight. This is a 200 gram calibration weight. I'm going to sell it for $10 a gram, okay? Put the cow weight on, okay? So now you owe me for this calibration if I was going to sell you the 200 gram weight. Uh, it reads 190, up oh, 200 right there. So there's $2,000. I really wish I could sell a calibration weight for $2,000 versus what these scales sell for. It's pretty much a, a joke. I mean, you buy my way, it's unbelievable value. I mean, the 200 gram weight alone, then you look at the scale, the expansion trade. They're a great company. You look at all the features they have to offer. Again, Visit us at balances.com or scaleman.com. We're an authorized dealer. We've been in business since 1995. Nobody has the experience like precision weighing balances. Come visit us. Thank